welcome back to what I'm on today. Today I'm going to be going over the 10 bags that I absolutely love, I adore, but I never wear. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. So today I wanted to kind of go over some of the bags in my collection that I absolutely love. I cannot see myself giving away, um, but I just never wear them. There is a huge tag, and I don't know if it's a tag, but I know that every year people always do videos about their least and their most used bags. And I try to kind of stay away from that because I have a lot of bags in rotation. So I feel like none of the bags get to be like my most used bags because they're all kind of my most used bags as long as they're in some type of rotation within my collection. But there are some bags within my collection that I love. I love looking at them. I love the idea of wearing them. I just never do for some reason. So I want to go over those bags with you. I'll talk to you a little bit about why I think I'm not wearing them. And then I'd love to know, obviously, if you have these same bags, like what is your use? How do you wear them? Maybe there's a flaw that's in my brain that's not letting me use them the way that I want to. So let's get into it. The first bag on my list is my Coach Cassie in the color block. I have had this bag for probably the better part of two, maybe three years. This is supposed to be like the best fall bag right it has all the fall colors that one would want i love the silhouette of this bag i love what this bag can fit and at one time i felt like i was wearing this a ton and now i swear like i always look at this bag probably every week i'm not even lying i mean like i'm gonna wear you this week she don't get worn she doesn't get worn i don't know why it is Again, a perfect size, love the colorway, matches so many things, but I never wear this bag for some reason. And again, I'm going to say to myself, even in looking in the bag, like, girl, I'm going to wear you this week. I'm going to put something together and wear you this week. I want to be more intentional about this bag. I probably haven't worn this bag in at least a year. Um, but also, she's not going to wear. She's staying. She's staying for the long haul in the collection. The next bag in the same family of Coach is my Coach Riley Lunchbox. Again, another bag that I've probably had for the better part of two or three years. And I will say that I wanted this bag so badly. I stalked this bag down to the ground. I got it on sale for $336. Why do I know that? because I wanted this bag so badly. And I love everything about the bag. I love the coach signature. I love the horse and carriage, the gold handle with the coach. I mean, it's uh, the details are crazy. Um, it fits so much. It fits so much. The interior is fabric, beautiful. And I don't know, I, don't, I just love this bag. And I probably wear this bag on average like maybe once per year. And I would love to wear it more because it's such a neutral combination. And to me, I just love the way this bag looks. I think the last time I wore this bag was like when I was going to the mall last year. Um, and last year could have been early 2022 or late 2021. Um, if you have this bag, let me know like if you are still wearing it and how you feel about it. Like again, this is another bag that I'm like, I want to put in rotation so much more. I just, I love everything about the way this bag looks. Another bag that's kind of like that square type feel. Obviously the lunch bag is much more rounded. This is the Kendrick Tote by Brandon Blackwood. I got this bag, I want to say about a year, year and a half ago, and I have worn this bag once max. Um, this is the first like true denim bag that I had in my collection. And that is one of the reasons that I actually wanted the bag is because it was like a true like denim bag in the collection. And so with this bag, I don't know, like 
I would say that it's maybe hard to style because of the color, but that's not true. It's very similar in color to my um, Pillow Tabby uh, in the size 18 in the lime, which is like this pale lime color, and it's very similar in color to this. Um, but I don't know. I don't know why I don't wear this bag. And maybe because it's like a little fussy. Not really fussy, but, you know, it opens up. It fits your phone. I don't know. I love the idea of the bag. I love the novelty look of the bag. I love that it's like a square bag and it's literally a trunk, which I love. Um, but in practical use, I have not reached for it at all. I love looking at it though. And I will not let this leave my collection because this is part of like the original, if you will, kind of brand in Blackwood before the new branding came and there was a B here. So I, I love what the bag is. And so, and now I think it's way more than I paid for it. I think I got it from the site for 165. Now it's like maybe 265, which is worth it. Um, but I just never wear this bag. I don't know why. If you have the Kendrick tote, let me know. Like, is this something that you wear a lot in rotation? The next bag is my Louis Vuitton Duomo in the Daumier Abbey. So this is considered, I think, vintage Louis Vuitton. Um, this bag is my only Daumier Abbey piece. And the reason that I originally wanted to get this bag is because I have, if you can see, I'm not sure, I think you can see it. Um, the Speedy 25 and then the Speedy 30 in the Monogram and the Damia Azure. And I wanted to have the trifecta and I was going to get the um, Speedy 25 or 30 in the Abeen color. Um, but then I was kind of going back and forth between that and getting the Alma PM in this color in this, you know, colorway of a bean, Damier bean. And so I came across this bag, which I was like, oh my gosh, it is a great combination of both of the bags. Um, this bag has this beautiful suede red interior. Y'all, I've told y'all before, like the vintage or the older Louis Vuitton bags are amazing. Like the canvas on this is so nice and thick. Um, and I'm trying to figure out like why I don't wear this often. And I probably wear this maybe a couple, three times a year, but definitely the other Louis Vuitton bags I wear a little bit more. And I love this because it really does resemble like a piece of luggage. Like even when you close it, it locks up on the side. I don't know if it's the red colorway that I've paired with it. Um, it does kind of give granny vibes in terms of like, how the bag is shaped and things like that so maybe that's it I just don't know I mean it fits everything so it's super easy to wear the zipper super easy it's a top handle um and maybe that's it maybe it's the top handle part of it where I love a top handle bag but you know mama's gonna need a cross body, a crossbody strap on her um I don't know it's something again I actually thought about selling this um at one point but then I was like no because again I won't be able to get it for the price again um, and for what I would get for it you know it's not a super popular bag I would rather just keep it in my collection and figure out a way to wear it so again I need to know if you guys have this bag or something similar in this collection like how are you wearing it like you don't have the answer for me but why am I not wearing it I don't know. The next bag in the collection that I wear so infrequently is this Tory Burch Kira bag. So this always stumps me. When I first got this bag, I wore this all the time. This was my very, very first Tory Burch bag. Um, I wanted it because, number one, I didn't know a thing about the brand. Um, and so it reminded me a lot of the YSL Lulu bag, which I could not just throw that type of money around um and so i love this bag it's made out of lambskin the inside of the bag is super spacious it's super lightweight and i used to wear this bag all the time and i literally have no clue why i don't wear this bag it is this is the epitome of a lakia bag 
a puffy bag that has a flap. Lakia. A puffy bag that can be a shoulder bag and a crossbody. Lakia. This is the epitome of like my favorite bags that I wear all the time. Like this is the Lakia silhouette of a bag. So it blows my mind why I don't wear this bag. The color is perfect. It goes with so much. Blue is my absolute favorite color in the entire world. I, I, I have no clue. And this one stumps me so much of why I don't think I've worn this bag in at least maybe a year to a year and a half, maybe. And I don't, I literally don't know why. This is probably out of all the bags, the one that stumps me the most because it is the Lakia Silhouette. And I have two other Kira's. They're both in the smaller size. I probably wear them as much as I wear this bag, but I've had this bag so much longer. Um, and I've gone on the Tory Burch site and I'm like, oh my gosh, this color came out, this color came out. And I don't know. I, I tell myself I, I'm not allowed to buy any more Kira bags because you don't wear the ones that you have, right? Whereas like the Pillow Madison bag or like the Chanel bags behind me, which are very kind of, again, classic Lakia. You know, I am using those way more in rotation than I use this bag. So this one is just, this is a mystery to me because again, I'm going to say it for like the 50th time. This is like, this is the style of bag that I am super drawn to that I wear all the time. I have no clue why this one is not making the cut. This is my MCM cylinder bag. I got this bag because the cans bag was super popular from Louis Vuitton. And at the time I was on my MCM, okay? And they had this bag. I paid full price for this bag. I don't think that I've uh, I can't remember. I've probably paid full price for some MCM pieces, but most of them I was able to get on sale. MCM is a brand that you guys know I love. The price point is great, although they are starting to try to be real expensive. But this bag is so great. I have literally worn this bag a single time since I got this bag. I think I got this in either 2021 or 2022. And I mean, I like the bag. I love the aesthetic. It's super easy to wear. It's super easy to pair. It comes with a strap. And I don't know why I never choose this bag. And I, honestly, well, I kind of do know why. I think it's because even though it has the strap, it's not a bag that I would naturally crossbody. And unless I'm going somewhere that like handheld is the vibe for, if I'm just doing my regular stuff, I need a whole crossbody bag or a big shoulder bag. Like I like to be kind of hands free if I'm doing some of the basic things. So I think it's not getting that much love because it's not, even though it has a crossbody strap, it's kind of too bulky to like be a real crossbody. You know what I mean? This is this is definitely handheld vibes. And because the best way I think to wear this is handheld, I think that's why maybe it's not getting love. But again, this is another bag that I just cannot let leave my collection. I love the shape of it. It fits everything that you need. And I promise myself, I'm gonna wear this, I'm gonna wear this a whole bunch. Y'all invite me somewhere so I can wear this bag, okay? Thank you. This is my Strathberry McNano bag. When I first got this bag, I was very much like, oh my gosh, I've watched a thousand videos. I need to try something from this brand called Strathberry. And this was the very first bag that I purchased. And I got this bag and it's called the McNano bag. You guys have seen this on my channel for the last couple of years. And I feel like it's always kind of in this space. I love this bar. When I first saw this bag and I got it home and in person, I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And my, my husband was like, it's, you know, he's, he's an artist. He's very artistic. So he loved the way the bag looked from an artist's perspective. And I don't think I wore it for maybe the first month. And then I wore it all the time. Like this was like my go-to easy bag. You could fit your basic necessities in this bag and it has a great little crossbody strap and you can kind of wear it 
on the white side if you you know have something stark white or you can kind of wear it on the dual side so it's kind of doing like a bunch of things and I have not worn this recently and it's it's a bag that I don't think I'll ever let go from my collection because it's a bag that I feel like I'll come around to and I think really I never wear it because of maybe the colorway even though I do like burgundy you have to be intentional about you know how you're styling this but also I think because it's just small and I think right now I'm on my big bag kick um, you can definitely like fit a phone in here for sure um, however and you can fit your essentials essentials in here too I don't know when I'm looking for a, a, a bag, I probably will choose something that's in one colorway. And so this one probably doesn't get chosen as much just because it's a little bit more difficult to style than something that's a quick little easy grab and go situation. And even though this bar is like adorable, it's not super hard, but it's probably not as practical as if you have just a flat bag crossbody where you can just open and close real quickly but either way I still do really like this bag I like aesthetically the way this bag looks I love how this this bag is made so well and it's another bag that I kind of want to like wear more and I'm gonna make a conscious effort to do so in 2023 the eighth bag that I don't wear um but I'm never giving up this is my very first Gucci bag and I'm pretty sure it's my only Gucci bag um, that I have within my collection and this bag my husband bought for anniversary Christmas some holiday a couple of years ago and I will tell you when I first got this bag probably for the first several months I wore this bag this was like my every day bag so this probably shouldn't be added to the list because she has gotten her cost per wear okay at the time this bag was $8.90 which was kind of expensive um and I don't think it's gone up well yeah it kind of has but not really like in three four years it's gone up to like a thousand dollars now um this is super cute chain is amazing um this is in pretty decent condition it could be you know I could have I could use to clean it I might go ahead and clean her up a little bit um, but I wear this thing with everything. It fits your phone. It fits all of your essentials. Um, I just don't wear it that often now. And this is like the only like true red bag in my collection. The other bags that I have in my collection are like burgundy-ish. So this is the only true red that I have in my collection. So it's not going anywhere just specifically because of the color palette. Obviously because my husband purchased it and it's my first and only Gucci bag. And I actually do like it. She's going to come back around. Like I will... She's somebody that I will wear a couple of times a year when I need this silhouette, when I need this look, when I need this color. Um, but I don't think that she's ever going to be, no matter how hard I try, like my everyday type of bag again because I want to carry way more than she can fit. And um, I don't know, the red colorway isn't what I'm wearing as often. Even though to me red is kind of a neutral. Um, but I don't know, she might get some more wear, but even if she doesn't, she ain't going nowhere. Second to last is another Strathberry bag. This is a bag that I did consider selling. I really wanted this bag in the size that's a little bit larger. This happened to be on sale like two years ago and I got it from Strathberry and I loved the idea of the bag, right? It's a great black bag, love the bar, fits so much, very reminiscent of the smaller one that I that I showed you, but fits a ton, just, it's a really great bag. I have worn this bag three times, maybe since I got it two, three years ago. I think that's the right timeline. And I even bought an Etsy charm for it and everything. And I thought about selling it or giving it away, but there's a part of me that's like, you're going to need a grown up black bag one day. And I also know that that's one of the reasons that I probably don't wear this as often. It does come with a crossbody strap, but like, who's crossbody in this? I'm not. I'm not who. I am definitely not crossbodying this bag. So I think that it's so, it's a grown up, sophisticated look 
which is, it's needed. And in your wardrobe, you have to have a grown-up black bag. And this is the grown-up black bag. My life does not lend toward being a grown-up. <laughs> when it comes to, like, the fashion and the bags at this moment. So I know for a fact that that's probably why I never, ever wear this bag. I've worn this bag, like I said, three times max. And that third time is being generous. It could really just be two times. Um... But I feel like there's going to be the occasion, you know, once every couple of years where I need to pull her out because I need to be a grown up. And this is not so I go into the office maybe once or twice a week sometimes. Um, and when I'm going to work, I'm usually carrying like a tote and my my job you know, our attire is very casual. So I feel like this would be a work bag if I work somewhere in which you would need to dress up but also it would be too much because my my laptop can't fit in this bag so that means that I would have to carry another bag and then carry this bag I don't have time for all that no I don't have time for that but I feel like it's not it's really not leaving my collection now because number one it's still here number two I feel like I'm gonna need this at some point and then there's gonna be a time a season where I'm like y'all all I do is wear this bag I don't know when that season's coming but I feel like it could happen so she's staying my very last bag is my Fendi shoulder bag this is in the I think it's called Pequen I'll put the right information down below it's kind of like this colorway this is definitely vintage Fendi I when I first got into fashion or handbags, I would say I was very much a pre-loved girl because I was very intimidated about the idea of going into a luxury store. I didn't feel like I belonged there at that time. And so I loved shopping pre-loved. And so I love this print. I don't know the history of this print. But Fendi seemed like to be something that I should be on. This is like when I first started and just understanding the brands. And I really loved like their vintage pieces. So this is one of the pieces that I got. I got it for like 300 bucks from three or 400 dollars from um, the real real. And guys, I know that I've mentioned the real real before in videos. I do not recommend them in any way, fashion or form. They have so many fakes. They've sold me fakes before. They're the worst. Stick to Fashion Files, stick to Rebag, or others, but The Real Real is a mess, mess. Okay, so anyways, this came with this strap, which was the original strap. I took the strap off because the strap, I wasn't, so I, at one point I wore this bag a ton, and then I stopped wearing it because the strap was just given beat down to the ground. And so I have this temporary strap on it which is from Amazon it's nothing special I feel like I wear this one also just a couple of times a year give or take even though it's so um it's so casual it matches pretty much anything like any this is like the epitome of neutral right black and brown together it's in great condition I told myself that I was going to get like a Fendi strap to go with it and I think that if I had like a nicer Fendi strap kind of crossbody thing to go with it that I would wear this bag even more and you know what I need to do I need to see if I have any black straps around here already that would go well um with this bag but I think I'm gonna purchase a Fendi strap for it with the idea that if I spend more money then I will wear it more because that makes all the sense, right? But in my brain, it's going to work out that way. So I feel like I feel like if that happens, then I might wear it more. So I don't know. But this is just a basic classic bag. I think the style of it isn't quintessential Lakia because it is not a flat bag. But it is still like, I don't know. I just, and every once in a while, I'll just throw this thing on. It's just so easy to wear. It's, it's super simple. And so I do like that about it. So to be determined, again, another bag in 2023 that I'm like, okay, I am definitely going to try to wear this more. This is definitely a bag that I will never sell just because um, I've cut the entire strap off. <laughs> so I don't think I can for one. And number two, I do really like this print. And I don't think that I can find it again for cheaper. So 
there we go okay we've gone through them all we have gone through all of the bags in my collection that I do not wear but I love to look at um, and they're never leaving my collection as far as I can think as of now and I was thinking to myself like oh my gosh that's like a lot of bags but honestly it's only 10% of my collection um, that are bags that I don't wear that often most of the other bags are in some type of rotation where I am wearing them you know a couple times uh, a month or at least once a month are kind of in some type of rotation these are just the least they're the ones I love I'm not going to say the most. They're the ones that are highly loved that don't get their wear. I want to know if you have any of these bags. I definitely want to know. Are you wearing them? How are you wearing them? How are you styling them? Um, and then I also want to know bags that you have in your collection that you're like, I just do not wear. I love them. They're not going anywhere. I just don't wear them. So thank you so much for watching yet another video. If you're new to this channel, please do not forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification notification bell. I'm hoping that this video was helpful because as I was going through, I'm kind of thinking to myself like, okay, there is a rhyme or reason or there isn't. I think I'm going to start doing just for myself more styling videos just to kind of make my brain, my brain think of ways to style some of the things that I don't often wear. Anyways, just thoughts for 2023. Um, thanks again for being here. I look forward to seeing you guys next Saturday at one. Bye.